Luxarian, a bustling metropolis, the divine city of light, and the holy sea of salvation. It's the last bastion of peace and order in a dying world. Most of the people who live here worship the almighty Benevelza. The city is governed in his name by a powerful religious sect known as the Order of Salvation. God's followers believe in ultimate redemption and their faith helps keep the fires of hope burning. But even in this pious city, a darkness lurks untouched by divine light. A heresy that rejects the teachings of Supreme Benevelza. Another girl. How awful. I bet it's the heretics doing. The Divine City doesn't look so holy now. This was no accident. The girl was left here intentionally. There's no need. Just a dummy. Hope, did you see who dropped it? They must still be close. My sensors didn't pick up anything at all. I'm running a search of the city's video database, but I'm coming up blank so far. Doesn't matter. I'll just find out myself. Luxarian. The Divine City of Light. Is that what they call it? Trouble is, the brightest lights cast the darkest shadows. Solve this case quickly. Luxarian is the city of divine light, yet it has seen the murder of three girls in three days. The people seem to be growing fearful. If you find out anything at all, I'd be anxious to hear it. There are similarities among the victims. They have all been young women, and all of them had rose colored hair. Yes, just the same shade as yours. You may also become a target of the killers. I urge you to be careful.
order is locked. to be late but what if no no couldn't be that something wrong not about those murders is it god no well, at least i hope not you see it's the end of my shift and i'm waiting for my replacement but he, he hasn't shown he's been late before but never as bad as this you're starting to worry right he likes to make out he's a tough guy but he isn't at all frankly his name's Holmes. If you run into him, do me a favor, will you? Tell him Thornton's worried and needs to go home. All right. If I see anyone in uniform wandering around where they're not supposed to be, I'll talk to him. You work at the station, don't you? Your fellow attendants worried about you. My... Oh no, is it time for my shift already? I completely lost track of time. Look, can I trust you? I saw who did it. Y you know, the people who threw the dummy off the clock tower? I got scared, so I've been laying low. I can't go to the station. That's where they'll look for me. You were there? What did you see exactly? You have to tell me. I don't have to do anything. But if you can protect me from those people and get me to the station, I'll tell you all about it. Get me to the station, and then I'll talk. For your safety and security, the Public Safety Office the order of the operates. Order of Salvation has sealed off all access to the North Station area. Citizens are asked Holmes, you're safe. Or enter I was so worried about you, I could barely concentrate on my duties. Sorry, boss. I saw what happened over where they found the girl. I guess I just panicked. I don't know why I got so scared. I'm sorry I let you down. It won't happen again. Never mind. I'm just glad to see you're safe. Guess I never told you. Well, years ago, one of my colleagues was killed by a monster. I was... I was afraid the same thing had happened to you. I panicked and asked this lady for help. I can't believe no one told me that when I took this job. But anyway, sorry for the trouble, boss. From now on, I swear to you, I'm never going to be late. I mean, what if your heart gave out or something with worry? Can't have that on my conscience. A true friend that cares. Maybe that's enough to save a soul. Well, a deal's a deal. You got me here safe and sound, and so I'm going to tell you exactly what I saw. It was the children of Etro. They tossed the dummy off the tower. I really wanted to tell the Inquisitors what I saw. Honestly, I did. But I was afraid those heretics might find out and make me their next victim. That's vital information. Good work, Light. At this rate, you'll solve the murder in no time. No one, absolutely no one doubts that the people behind the killings are those heretics. The Order is conducting its inquisitions based on that assumption. The Etro fanatics who worship the Goddess of Death are all over the place. Just look for the sinister groups huddled together, dressed head to toe in white. It may mean nothing, but some people have witnessed the Etro heretics using the public phone near the graveyard. Furtive conversations in the streets, prowling the city at night, it makes you wonder what they're up to. That was a valuable witness statement. I'm pretty sure the Inquisitor can use the information. This is my favorite spot. Hang out here long enough and you get to see all kinds of things. Like those white-garbed loonies, for example. The children of Etro are heretics and they don't believe in the Order's teachings. Those Etro fanatics used to keep a low profile, but recently I see them everywhere. The Order's authority isn't what it was. Now those people wander the streets like they own the place. 
Do you think they know something we don't? Maybe they have a date for the end of the world. Who knows? The Inquisitor will definitely be very interested in this information. Why not talk to a few more people? The same people who killed the girl brought that dummy here. It's important evidence. Don't touch it. The victim had rose-colored hair, and the wig on that dummy was of the same color. The killers appear to believe that the evil savior will take the form of a young woman with rose-colored hair. Everything points to this being the work of those heretics, children of Etro. But why are they so sure what the savior will look like? That's vital information. Good work, Light. At this rate, you'll solve the murder in no time. Our investigation is progressing rapidly. Soon we can lift the blockade. Am I a suspect too? I guess. Wait, wait a minute. I don't know anything about the Shadow Hunter, I swear to God. I didn't mention any Shadow Hunter, but thanks for the tip. Who is he? Don't tell me you don't know about the Shadow Hunter. Lord of Luxurian Shadow World, hero to the little folk, king of the Warren. Although, it's not like I've actually met him myself. Yeah, sure, so I told everyone the Hunter and I are close, but come on, it was just talk. I never thought anything like this would happen. Damn it, I know I shouldn't have been bragging about how me and the Shadow Hunter were best pals. What if the Elders believed I'm in tight with a savior-murdering nutjob? I saw you coming and I got scared. I figured you were with them, you know, the Inquisitors. will definitely be very interested in this information. Yes. What can I do for you this time? That is very interesting indeed. We've been piecing together all our evidence, and your information supports our theory. Hmm. The only question is, how long I can maintain the blockade? You should gather information and relay it to the Inquisitors. Once they have a... The horror continues. Another victim has been discovered. I knew the latest victim. She was a leading member of the Order clergy. She'd been a rising star, destined to become the next High Priestess. But then she retired suddenly, for reasons of health, or so it was said. And then this. The moon sure is low, didn't it? This area is locked down. No one's allowed past without permission. You should head to areas with lots of foot traffic. Try your luck at the station, or the plaza out in front. Oh, it's because of the prophecy. I've caused the boss a lot of worry and stress. I always said those people would cause trouble, and I was right. Every night I can see them, those weirdos in their white cloaks sneaking around the streets. Whenever I see white, I think, ugh, heretic. If there's one thing I know, that wicked shadow hunter, he's the ringleader of the heretics. Those fanatics are growing bold. Nowadays, there's always a gang of them in the plaza in front of the station. It's as if they are meeting to go someplace else. Speaking of which, it's usually around this time they start to show up. So the culprits are the children of Etro? But what's their objective? What could they be after? Let's find out. Once... If you know anything about the case, I'd be glad to hear it. 
The goddess's disciples are beginning to gather. If you lift the blockades around this area, there's a good chance they'll start to move out. You're suggesting I let them go? Hmm. It's not a bad idea. Yes, yes, I'll give the order and we'll see where the heretics lead us. We've managed to find some eyewitnesses, and we think we know who it was that strung the dummy from the tower. Let me guess. The children of Etro, right? Ah, you have your own sources, I see. In recent weeks, the heretics have become more visible on the streets of our holy city. The poor, benighted fools don't believe in God's salvation. Clearly, their despair has led them to carry out these wanton acts. If only they would open their eyes, embrace God, and they could bathe in the pure light of His almighty grace. Can't they see that their souls would be liberated in the new world? The irony of it all is that their fanatical rejection of the Savior has only made my own faith that much stronger. Although, perhaps that is the work of the Savior herself. If you think your faith will save you, then go ahead. Believe all you want. Welcome. Are you looking for rare items from the Wildlands? I've got a mighty fine selection. I see you're a woman who knows exactly what she wants. It's a mighty fine product, that one. This is used for only the finest medicines. I was afraid I'd never be able to sell this baby. Thank goodness you came along to change that. It's a little rich for most folks. To thank you for your patronage, I'll let you in on a little secret. I run a legit business, as you can see for yourself. But I do have some, shall we say, friends in the Warren. I'm listening. I see I've caught your interest. I sensed that you were looking for something. Just don't delve too far into that area. You don't know what kind of people you'll run into. But if you do decide that you want to go in and out as you please, I can be of some assistance. <laughs> See something?
Blessed be, friend. Thank you for your interest. It looks like one of those old-fashioned pens. It also looks like someone deliberately buried it here. Out of wares. was once a delightful part of the city. Yeah. I've been told never to step foot inside the war and... There are Things have taken a turn for the worse around here. Someone stole my purse! You're in the right place. Every time I see the Coliseum, it is not where people are in this. The saints seem to be in a somber mood. Today, the City of Light has been the scene of much tragedy. 
great number of our residents have lost their lives. Let us offer prayers once again to great Beneveza, so that he might be merciful to the forsaken souls, they who have lost all hope of seeing the new world. Chocopocalina! Hi! I sense you want to talk about something. Ask away! Is it about this message board, or something more important, like my beauty regimen? I want to talk to you. I think that you have it backwards. Oh, don't be such a silly Sahagan! Everyone wants to talk to me, especially since I've been put in charge of this! The message board? It's not just an ordinary message board. It's called the Canvas of Prayers, and it's magical! An ancient spell has been cast on it, and now it can show people's hopes and dreams! For example, you know how people wish on stars, or by throwing coins into a fountain? I know you've done it too, even though you'd never admit it! This board collects prayers from all over the world, from all sorts of people, and makes them appear as words. You mean anyone can come here and read them? Just you! It's written in a mythical language! To anyone other than yourself, it looks like a jumble of nonsense. Now don't just take my word for it. Why don't you take a look? See if you can't read everyone's humble little wishes. Just ran out. There have been so many frightening incidents around here, what with the children of Etro and the Shadow Hunter? What are they after? Luxarian is the divine city of light, not darkness. This has been a fruitful journey. Chaos has even it's taken over. in the warren at night. If this Everyone who comes here seems to be a merchant.
Is it chaos? Of course, but nah. Don't curse me. If it is risky, will you be taking a room? We are always here to welcome you. There are heretics roaming around. Light, wait here for now. Look around for any suspicious groups. You need to follow the heretics. Be discreet and don't let them spot you. This broadcast is brought to you by the Public Morals Office of the Order of Salvation. It is now midnight. If you give them the right numbers, you get to join the party. Simple but effective security. Handy if you want to hide a murder. A password, huh? We'll need to figure it out somehow. Let's head back to town and look for clues. The heretical cult, the so-called children of Etro, are behind the murders. They become increasingly visible in the city. God's savior looks as much a murderer as these maniacs do. Your luck just ran out. Help you now. You surprised. Don't worry. Even if the world hates you, I'll always be by your side, Light. What do you want to do? Will you go looking for that code? The Now, now I'll never ever see it again. 
Did you lose something? What was it? I lost my carbuncle doll. It was the prettiest green color. It was an antique. It was my favorite doll in the entire world! Chin up. It has to be somewhere. If you search hard enough, you'll be able to find it. I know where it is. The chaos took it away from me. Anything the chaos touches just disappears and you never see it again. Just because you can't see something, it doesn't mean it's gone. In fact, there might be a way to get it back. Really? I don't believe you. All right, then I'll find it for you and prove it. You're looking for a green carbuncle doll, is that right? It seems like a waste to just wait here until then. Why not get out of the city for a while? I might as well. There's not much time left. I won't waste it. Yes, your time is the most precious thing you have now. How you use these few days may decide the very fate of the world. It looks like the monorail is up and running. If you hop aboard, you can quickly get anywhere in this world. And there's another station on the south side of Luxarian. Come in and learn our secret arts. It's not the safest place in the world. Mysterious spells that no man should be without. Look what I found. Here you go. Make sure you don't lose it again, okay? <gasps> My doll! You really found it! Oh, thank you, thank you! My mom gave this to me. She's gone now. She got swallowed up by the chaos. It was 200 years ago. Maybe longer. If this doll was safe and sound inside the chaos, that means my mom is okay too, right? It means she's watching over me from far away, right? People pray for the dead. They pray that even though their bodies are gone, their souls still exist. They pray they'll see their loved ones again. That little girl prays she'll reunite with her mother. The same way I pray that Sarah and I will be together again someday. it up.
Today, a great number of let us offer. Your luck just ran out. This is a fine adventure. ain't it? Life's got no meaning, so you want to throw it away. Or better yet, your man went and dumped you, so you want to take it out on some beasties. Look, I don't know you, and you clearly don't know me. You don't know me? <laughs> you came to do business with Baird without checking up on me first? <laughs> Not too bright, are you, girly? Huh? <laughs> you want to keep talking? I'm game, but you gotta buy this here, baby. It's all the qualifications you'll need to be a top-notch seat hunter. And that don't mean you're a real seat hunter yet, though. That you gotta earn. I'm gonna guess that seat hunters collect... <laughs> Seeds. Yeah. Soul seeds, to be all specific and everything. You, um, you know what they are, right? The shiny little lights floating in the chaos? We call them seeds, but uh, eggs is more like it. Monster eggs in the chaos. A certain, shall we say, uh, organization buys them up. For a good price, too. Says they, um, make medicines and stuff out of them. Listen, girly, here's the deal. I pay you for seeds. The more, the better. Here's something you'll need to know. There are a total of four merchants who will buy your seeds. One in Yusnan, one in the Wildlands, one in the Dead Dunes, and most of all, me, here in Luxarian. One in every location. Think you can remember that? If you've got some soul seeds you're looking to discard, all you need to do is track one of us down. Simple, right? Oh, and don't worry. You'll recognize us easily by our fancy little hats. Close your eyes. I'll be quick.
is a restricted area. A giant creature came out of the chaos and it's causing a panic. And no one's doing anything? Thirteen brave bounty hunters volunteered to take the beast down, to keep the peace. Thirteen. That should have been enough, right? Guess how many still live. <sighs> Just one. The others all died. And that lone survivor was... Yes, me. God. Such horrors I'd hoped to never have to see in my lifetime. The city's lost now. No one can face that monster and live. And with the chaos creating more of them... Sounds dangerous. Good thing I have a few minutes to spare. Were you listening to me? It killed 12 brave warriors. You're just one person, and a woman no less. But if you really want to fight it, I won't stop you. This be your judgment. Time to repent. you defeat that thing alone well it wasn't an easy battle you don't have to tell me twice here you should have this it belonged to the fallen men because of your actions they're resting peacefully knowing their deaths weren't in vain what a coward I am one failure and I turned tail and fled in my mind the beast had become chaos itself but then you dispatched it alone how powerful could it have been, really, to be slain by just one man? Damn it, you inspire me! Not to be reckless, I hope. Never. Caution is my middle name, after all. <laughs> but we bounty hunters, we like to live on the edge. Danger. That's what it's all about. Can't live without it, like you can't live without air!
Should I tell someone, or should I just mind my own business? Oh, I... Choco Boco! It sure has been a long time, hasn't it, Lightning? How do you know my name? I don't think we've met. What? Don't tell me you don't remember Chocolina! Oh, duh, of course you wouldn't. Let's just say that I gave your sister a helping hand during her journey a long, long time ago. You helped Sarah on her journey? I hope I don't offend you, but you're not entirely human, are you? No, sadly, in my true form, I'm not nearly as drop-dead gorgeous. But I am on your side. I'm here to help, like I did for your sister. I don't even know you. How do I know you're not lying to me? Well, you're just going to have to try. Ooh, I know! I can tell you all about me and my past until I convince you I'm a friend. It all started back when... Wait, never mind. I trust you, you're on my side. Please, stop talking. swords. Evil must be vanquished. Oh, you can see I'm not just any old cat. Since you seem to have half a brain, might I ask a favor? It won't be too much of a bother, I promise. Call me cynical, but I don't believe cats can talk. I'll help you out, but only if you tell me who you really are. I knew you were clever. Yes, I'm no cat. At least not on the inside. This is where you tell me about some bizarre episode that put your soul into a cat's body. Exactly. You're good. Of all the possibilities, why a cat? Oh, let me start from the beginning. This body that I'm in, the most beautiful cat in the world, she was my precious little baby. Obviously, I named her Jem because she was my treasure. She was everything to me, but she got sick and passed away. I had a difficult time dealing with her death. I couldn't accept it. I shied away from reality. I did everything I could to preserve Jem's body while I desperately searched for a way to bring her back. Science, voodoo, alchemy, you name it. I tried everything you could ever imagine. I spent years, no, decades, performing experiments to bring her back. I'm not one to judge, but the love you have for your cat is more than a little frightening. She was my life, but nothing worked. I couldn't revive her. I'd run out of ideas. I was devastated. I had just about given up on life, everything, when God decided to throw me a bone. A little girl approached me. She called herself Lumina. Lumina? This ought to be good. What happened? I thought this little angel had been sent from the heavens when she handed me a potion, and said it had the power to lend Jem my soul. 
According to her explanation, if I drank the potion, I could revive her. Of course, I drank the entire bottle without hesitation. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to drink strange potions? Especially ones given to you free of charge by people you just met on the street. But this stranger told the truth. Jim was revived. See? Alive as ever. However, I wasn't prepared for these side effects. This wasn't what I had in mind. And that's where I come in, isn't it? Yes! Lumina mentioned there was an antidote that can reverse the effects of the potion. With it, things can go back to the way they were. It's called Starlet Spice. Please, will you find some of it and wave it under my nose? I assume you're talking about your human body, so it's still intact somewhere? Do you recall where? When dawn approaches, you'll find it wandering aimlessly near a large assembly of cats. You can tell from a single glance that it lacks any sort of soul. My name, my real name, is Ronan. I don't know if my body will respond to that, though. This is Luxarian's very own. The trains here can take you to either the Wildlands and the Dead Dunes. You won't find them. However, many venture out there. If you're looking to travel, please head to Luxarian's North. Here for the train? <laughs> 